Hi everyone, I'm Local 5 Chief Meteorologist Brad Edwards and this is the Local 5 Weather Lab. We're talking about frost, freezing and what's the difference out there. Now you can see here is October and that's usually when we have our first freeze. October 17th is the average and most of the recent years that's about when we've had our first freeze. But freezing and frosting are different because you can get a frost with temperatures really anywhere below 37 degrees and I'll explain why in just a second. So frost is just, you know, basically what it says. You get a little bit of frost on the pumpkin, a little bit of frost on the grass, but it doesn't mean that really the temperatures are that cold. It means those surfaces get down to 32. So when the surface gets to 32, you can get frost. Well, the freeze means temperatures do get to 32 or below, and that's when water freezes, and that's when you start to see damage to plants out there because of the cell walls rupturing because the water inside the plants are starting to freeze. So the colder it gets, the worse it is for plants, and we call a hard freeze kind of a killing freeze and that's when temperatures are at or below 28 degrees for an extended period of time several hours basically in that deep freezer and that causes big problems out there let's take a look when frost is uh, actually happens when it's above freezing I talked about that earlier because here's the deal when we measure temperatures officially at the airport and all the uh, stations we have the weather stations it's typically six feet above the ground well frost happens of course near the ground so that's why at the ground on a very calm morning, you can definitely see temperatures much cooler than say six feet higher. So you get that frost to form in certain parts of your yard or maybe certain parts of your neighborhood. So that is the latest of, or that is what we're talking about is the difference between frost and freezing. Thanks for coming to the Local 5 Weather Lab.